Hey guys, welcome back to another Animal Crossing video. Today I'm going to be showing you the easiest ways of catching a scorpion in Animal Crossing New Horizons. This video is aimed at the new members of the community, but I'm sure it can teach all of you something in one way or another. And without any further ado, let's jump into the video. So you may notice that I am on quite a special island. This island is Scorpion Island. It's one of the rarer islands that you can find. But as the name implies, only scorpions spawn on this island. Now, there are two different methods that I like to use when catching scorpions. The first one is a safe method, one which guarantees a catch 100% of the time. The other is a more dangerous method, one which does, however, save time, but it doesn't always guarantee the catch. So the first method that I'm going to be teaching you is the creeping method. If you hold A whilst gripping your net, you'll notice that your player starts to creep. Now what you want to do, you want to get its attention like I have done here, and you'll notice that when you move, it raises its claws at you. You want to stop moving when you see this happen, and then continue to move as soon as its claws are lowered. Keep repeating this process until you eventually get close enough to the scorpion, and you'll eventually be able to swipe your net and catch the scorpion. This is quite an easy technique to get the hang of, so I definitely recommend it to the beginners. Now the second technique that I'm teaching you today is what I like to call the kamikaze technique. This method is aimed at the players that can't be asked to wait around and creep up to a scorpion. This method takes the ball by the horns, grabs the attention of the scorpion, and you want to run from it. The key to this technique is getting enough space between you and the scorpion so that you have enough time to turn around and catch it. Because if you're too close to the scorpion, it will miss the radius of your net and it will sting you, like, like so. <laughs> so yeah, like I say, the key to this technique is having enough space between you and the scorpion so that you've got enough time to turn around and catch it. This technique can be quite hard to master, but after a few tries, you should be getting the hang of it in no time whatsoever. And that is it for today's video. If this has helped you in any way whatsoever, then please do consider liking and subscribing. And if you would like to see any other videos like these, then please do let me know down in the comments. But until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!